wrap up the Sunrise Promises, David has a closing thought. But before we get to that, I have three things I want to mention to you. One is, these videos almost didn't happen. The weekend that we were originally set to record these, David had to cancel because he went into the hospital. When he came out of the hospital, he was on hospice care. I was grieved to think that we wouldn't have this opportunity, but even more so that I was about to lose my friend. As uh, is so uh, much the character of David, he um, said, oh no, 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 we, we have to do it now. So for the last few months, he has been under hospice care and he is most likely in his last days right now. As we uh, think of that, his sunrise promises are about to become his sunrise fulfillment. He is about to see everything that he has been speaking about as a reality. The face that he's longed to see all these years, he is about to see. I'm so grateful for David's willingness to still take the time and the effort and the energy and spending the little bit of energy that he had for the day on recording these. I also want to thank Jerry Kyle for her voiceover work with the uh, verses. The two of you have walked deep waters, and I love the way that your passion for Jesus comes through in the way that you speak. I, I want to encourage you for the second thing, to share and subscribe to this. Share it with anybody who you think needs a reminder of our living hope. And finally, I want to invite you to be imitators of David. And I take that straight from Scripture, so don't think that's strange. That's what Paul says to the Corinthian church, those that he had fathered. He says this in 1 Corinthians 4. He says, I don't say these things to uh, these hard things that he's saying uh, to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me. And later he says, be imitators of me as I imitate Christ Jesus. That's what David did. So I invite you to imitate the reverence that this man has for a holy God, but also for a loving father. He is honoring his heavenly father all the way to his final breath and that is what i invite you to imitate become captivated by the same god who has captivated david so with that here's david needham for christians who will be living at the time of christ's great return the promise of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and John 14 will be especially treasured. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we always be with the Lord. Unless the Lord's coming is very soon, since probably many of us will have already arrived in heaven before that time, we will be there with him when he comes in glory. But just Think of stepping on shore and finding it heaven, of touching a hand and finding it God, of breathing new air and finding it solid. Oh